What's up YouTube, this is Prince of ATP 101 and in this video I have another set of awesome tweaks for you guys. So yeah, so you wanna go to Cydia and you're gonna add a source. So let's go to Cydia. Go to add source, you wanna hit edit, add, and you could just add the source right in there, the source that's on the screen right now, and also link below in the description. So after you do that, then you're fine, just hit done and you could just search for the tweaks that I show you guys. So the first tweak is called Black Keyboard Everywhere. Black Keyboard Everywhere basically does just that. So if I go to Cydia and I go to search and I tap on the keyboard, you can see that right there. I get a black keyboard and that's all it does. It just gives you the black keyboard everywhere. Usually the keyboard is kind of white. So yeah, Black Keyboard Everywhere gives you that option right there. And then same thing in Cydia. This one is called Dismiss Progress. You know how you install a tweak and then you'd have to hit Respring. Then this option just, let me go right here, hit refresh real quick. With this tweak you get that Respring option but you also get a toggle right up here in the corner that just says close so you could go back and install other tweaks and then you could Respring whenever you're done. So that one is called Dismiss Progress. So the next tweak I want to show you guys is called Double Cut. So if you go to Settings and scroll down to Double Cut, you can see right here. So I got G and Y. So I got Double Tap for my Gmail email address and I got Y, Double Tap on the Y for my Yahoo email address. And you could delete them just like this, whatever snippet you want. Or you could add, just go in here, you could put a for AOL or whatever. You could put a password, you could put a nickname, whatever you want. So I put that A right there and I could just put in whatever I want. I hit save. And you can see it right there. So now when I go to notes, I could just double tap on the Y and I could get whatever I put right there. The Yahoo email, I could double tap on the G and I get the Gmail. I could double tap on the A and I could get whatever I put there. So double cut is a real cool tweak. If you guys want to type faster or just automatically enter a password or email address or a screen name, whatever it is, this tweak will definitely help you out. And the other one is called flat safari URL. So if I go to safari and now you can see how different this look. It just look more flat. It just looks a lot cleaner. It just look, see what I'm talking about? It looks different. So that's what it does. It just makes Safari looks a lot better, more flat, and it just looks better altogether. And the other one is called IntelliX. IntelliX basically just groups your notifications just like that. So you could have all your Twitter notifications. So I have this one for Twitter and right here for Tweetbox. Basically, you will group each notification within the app so you don't have to go through and search for what time you got three different notifications for the same app. It just groups everything together just like that. And yeah, it's, it's real cool. And that one is called IntelliX. And then the other one is called Let Me Know. Let Me Know is a phone call tweak. So whenever you make a phone call, as soon as that person picks up the phone, your, your, your phone will vibrate. As soon as it connects, your phone will vibrate. And as soon as it disconnects or that person hang up, then the phone will vibrate again. It's kind of, I can't really show you guys, but it does work. It, it actually works pretty good. I mean, if you're one of those people who make a call but don't put your phone to your ear until you see like the second start going, that's when you know the person is on there. This is perfect for you. As soon as it vibrates, you know it's on there. And if you want to, if they hang up on you and you're like, hello, hello, you, you're not sure if they hung up. As soon as it vibrates, that person hung up. So that one is called Let Me Know. It, it's real cool. If you guys install it, this might help you. And then the other one is called No Large Titles. No Large Titles basically. It just removed the huge titles that used to be on iOS 11. Right up here, settings would be really huge. It must be big. In fact, let me go to my camera settings. I'll go to camera and show you a screenshot that I took. So that's how settings used to be. Yeah, look at that. That thing is huge. But now, it's just small. Hence the name, no large titles. And then the other one is called No Share Please. No Share Please basically just gets you whenever you force touch on an app. So any app that supports force touch. So I do that. Usually there used to be a share button there that nobody uses, but now it's gone. No Share Please just basically remove that. And the other one is a volume hood 
tweak. This one is called peekaboo. So if you look in the left corner, you can see you go up and up and down. So you could actually go to settings and change this up to as you please. So you could change the behavior. I mean, you could just do whatever you want right in here. And yeah, that one is called peekaboo. And then the other one is called Safari Plus. Safari Plus basically just gives you a bunch of options in Safari. So you could go in here and set it up how you like. So you could go to the general, you could open new tab option. So you could just add these. Desktop mode. So if I go to Safari, and I tap right here, you could see that, that little desktop mode right there. So I could just switch it up so it, it adds a lot of options if you guys use Safari a lot you guys could go through here upload any file you guys just go through here and set it up as you please go back out here you could add gestures to it so you could swipe left and then you could put in the action or whatever you wanted to do so just set it up how you please this one is called Safari Plus and the other one is called Smart LPN Smart Low Power Mode basically you can set the low power mode to whatever you want right now I have mine set at 85 so, so hold up. let's go to settings you can see right here Smart LPM and you could just slide that little toggle right at the bottom to whatever you could I even have it at 0 10 and just have it at whatever right now my percentage is at 84 85 so I'm gonna set this to like 80 but it's already on low power mode so you might have to respin but you could just go in there and set it up however you want smart low power mode auto low power mode and all that kind of stuff you could just do all that so yeah that one is called smart LPM and the other one is called spot clear on close you know you go to your spotlight search and you search for something hold on and you would like type in Google and then you would get this but then when you close out and you go back it will still be there whatever you search for last time if you don't delete it out it will still be there so whenever you close it now it goes away so smart clear on close spot clear on close spot clear on close so that's what it does it basically does clear your spotlight search after you close after you close it and then the other one is called transition transition is this right here if you look at my app badge you can see they're kind of clear and it looks like a teardrop it's hard to see but it looks like a teardrop turned sideways so you can see that right there so it, get, it gets kind of clear and that's all it does it just turns it like a teardrop and make your app badge kind of clear which is real cool if you like that I'm gonna remove it but I just want to show you guys this tweet and the other one is called app color badge so that's what giving these colors App color badge you can see this one is green this one is blue this one up here is red so basically the color badge just gives it the color the badge the color of the app which app color badge and then my last one I want to show you guys is the best one it's called iCleanup Pro after you add that you could just go on the city of search iCleanup Pro it's in beta and you get the app you could open it up you guys could just basically go through and do your thing I wouldn't mess with it I never really mess with it when I use it but it's a great app for cleaning out space if you have like a 32 or a 16 gigabyte iPhone and you want to clear all those space whatever if you want to get the maximum storage then this is all you need right here all you have to do is just hit clean and it's gonna do its thing so please wait so there you go how much does that say look at that free space 2.45 gigabytes yeah so you guys could set it up however you guys like as you can see that thing freed up 2.4 gigabytes for me and it's an awesome tweak so definitely install it and yeah if you install any of these tweaks just let me know 
Let, let me know which, which one is your favorite. And definitely like and subscribe. It's Prince with ATP 101. Peace. Thanks for watching.